What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today on a 40 gallon breeder. I had just did a video on drilling the hole in the tank. And now I'm going to do a video on how to spray paint a glass aquarium. Uh, this is the second time that I actually used spray paint for an aquarium background. But before I did that, since I just drilled it, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum all the glass shards or tiny pieces uh, in the aquarium. The preferred brand of spray paint that I like to use is Rust-Oleum uh, Flat. The reason I use flat is because I don't want a shiny background. Uh, I've used Rust-Oleum Rust before in the past and it's a it's a decent brand. Uh, I know a lot of people use that Crayola uh, spray paint and you might want to use that for pipes if they're going inside the tank. For sure, if you're going to do anything, get some 3M painter's tape. There's different brands, but the 3M stuff I had laying around, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Uh, when I laid it out, I pressed it against the glass. I wasn't stingy with the amount of tape that I used because, uh, you know what, I don't want to make a mess. Another thing that I did, I got some uh, cardboard, and what I'm going to use with that cardboard, I'm going to pit it in front of the hole on the inside of the aquarium, so that way when I, I'm actually using spray paint, I'm not having paint fly inside of my tank. It's not like you'll make a be a noticeable difference, but you know, just doing the little attention to detail type things. Um, as you can see, I pit a lot of tape, so it will be flush with the glass, and uh, the paint won't go inside of the tank. When you spray paint, try not to do it when it's so windy outside, um, especially uh, in front of your cars. You don't want that spray paint getting on your vehicles. Uh, if you did get some spray paint on top of your vehicles or on it, uh, you guys probably already know this, but spray WD-40 on your vehicle and it'll take off any spray paint. I made sure to go to the side of the house. Uh, that way the paint wouldn't uh, get on my vehicles and uh, wouldn't get on the house either. Um, when I did, I did some short, quick bursts. But one word of advice, guys, uh, and I'm going to tell you straight up, I should have pitted my aquarium laying down. Uh, that way, when I made the quick short burst, I didn't get any runoff. Um, the run I got runoff because, you know, gravity. You know, gravity will start dripping if you're if you don't if you're pitting so much spray paint on. And I'm gonna show you my little mess uh, that I did here in a little bit. For sure, you'd want to wear gloves. That way, you don't get spray paint all over the place. Um, as I taped up my aquarium, I also put the box back up on the sides to minimize the amount of mess that I, I will make. Um, another thing, when I first got started, I didn't spray paint my uh, aquarium. I bought some of that Walmart acrylic paint. Uh, they had black. I just rolled it on the back of the glass the same way that I'm doing here in layers. And that stuff worked pretty good. Um, it did um, run off every now and then in case they got some water but for the most part that stuff stayed on there now this is what i'm talking about with the runoff um i should have put my aquarium laying down flat if i would have did that this wouldn't have really happened because i was still doing the short burst but it wouldn't be running down the tank like this uh, it does look a little bit better once it dries um and you can't really tell you can tell only if you look on the back side on the opposite side where you're actually going to be looking at the aquarium you can't tell guys so not that bad but uh, not perfect at all by any means well guys i hope you guys have a good one uh like and subscribe and you guys take care